Nah, man. They lie, y'all. Your sight. My name is Eugene Graney. I'm the founder and co-owner of the Dobros, or just simply the ginger one. My name is Ronan Graney. I'm head chef and co-owner of the Dobros, and I'm the good-looking one. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Paul Scully, and I'm the front of house manager at the Dobros or the tall, dark and handsome one. <laughs> Cheesy! Here comes my boy, Glock 3 and 2. My name's Glock 1, had his first son here to do. Let's move the heart, sort out the light. The idea for Dobros came out of an unfortunate situation in my life where I was laid off from my job. I was 27 at the time, working on sales and marketing for a Canadian company. They decided out of nowhere to move operations back to Canada. And it forced me to think about what I wanted to do, which was always to have my own restaurant. So we said we'd start mobile, work the Galway scene and eventually have a restaurant. I think it was five years in the plan that we ended up doing it in year one, so it's been crazy. From a marketing point of view, we pretty quickly realized that our unique selling point wasn't the oven or it wasn't food aspect. It was the, the bros and it was the story. I put up a post about, oh, the oven arrived from Italy, it wood fired. It'd probably get 12 likes, seven of them were my family because they understood. I was romantically involved with the oven so and different things. But it's, not in that kind of way. But then we put up a picture of us broken down on the way to a festival, you know, saying late as usual or something lighthearted, you know, taking the mick. And next thing all of a sudden we get 150 likes. People seem to get behind it, they feel a part of it, they feel like they almost know us because we're just keeping them full on the time in a nice, lighthearted way. Let's just show people what we do, but let's make them laugh along the way. Yeah? No, don't interrupt, man, yeah? <laughs> a customer is genuinely going in and spending their hard-earned money on your product, in your place. So they should feel welcomed and, you know, rewarded for that. We love nothing more than seeing customers through our, walk through our door. You know, they're welcomed on the way in. You know, we make sure that we welcome everyone, and that's a genuine welcome. You know, we're genuinely happy to see every customer come in. You can go in and have a great meal, but if the customer service and, and the service itself isn't up to standard, it's, it's all you're going to remember. You're going to forget about the food. The customer is, is always right, for one, um, but customer service is a massive thing for us. It's more than just a pizza. It's not about people coming in and getting the best pizza in Galway, which we're, we're working towards, but it's about an experience. We'd love to have a Dobros in Cork, Dublin, Limerick, Belfast, you know, but for now we're keeping our feet in the ground and we're just working towards uh, improving our product all the time where possible. Winning that was, was just recognition for all that hard work that we, yeah, keep going, you're doing something right. And the fact that it was the people's choice, it was voted for by the people, it's like, people like us and that's a, a, a nice feeling, you know, knowing that what we're doing, people are receiving it and they're behind us and things have been really tough, but look, keep going. You know, you're, you're doing something right. The story of the Tinder campaign it brings a smile to my face every day. We launched the week of Valentine's Day and it just snowballed from there. 500 matches all over the place. England, Croatia, Spain, you name it. And eight and a half million nights. This is going to be big. <laughs> From an ego point of view, it was, a, it was a good week. We were walking around the town getting high fives.